Last Christmas, we showed you how to make a Christmas pudding fire tornado. And this Christmas, we want to make something that you might normally find on your mantelpiece during the holiday season, a snow globe. But because we want to give this a scientific twist, it's not going to be any ordinary snow globe. We're going to make a radioactive snow globe cloud chamber. A cloud chamber is the earliest version of the modern day giant particle detectors like the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, which is unlocking the quantum secrets of our universe. Though thankfully, compared to the 7.5 billion euro 27 kilometer tunnel buried 100 meters underground, our snow globe is going to be a little bit easier to make. All you need is a fish tank with some felt, some dry ice, a light source, like a small torch, plasticine, laminated card, some ethanol, and some baking trays. So we've placed some felt just on the inside of our fish tank, and now we just need to put some plasticine all the way around the rim. Then we take our source of radiation and add it to the laminated card. Now, we're using a thoriated tungsten welding rod. And it's safe for me to handle because it emits a source of radiation called alpha radiation. This type of radiation can be stopped by skin, paper, or even a few centimeters of air. However, it can be dangerous if you eat it, so don't eat it! Next, we'll want to take some of the dry ice and pour it in between our two baking sheets. Next, we need to add the ethanol to the felt. Now, we want to get it as saturated as possible without it being dripping wet. And now we'll want to take our fish tank and place it upside down over our radioactive source. Press down firmly to make sure there's an airtight seal. Now we just need to dim the lights, turn on our torch, and wait. If you look very closely, you might catch a glimpse of some tiny white trails shooting out from the rod. But what's causing these trails? The rod contains unstable atoms of thorium-232, as the atoms decay, they release radiation. In the case of thorium-232, it's alpha particles. As the alpha particle collides with the cold alcohol vapor, it forms a point for the alcohol to condense back into droplets of liquid. And that forms the trails which we can see. All we need to do now is add a suitably seasonal winter background. Now, it may not be the best snow globe in the world, but instead of fake snow, we have a shower of radioactive particles, creating this snow globe cloud chamber. Gotta remember, these things are particles. I mean, you can't see them with a microscope or anything like that, but for us to be able to see the effects of this radiation on the ethanol in the cloud chamber, it's pretty impressive. Happy holidays and a Merry Christmas from everyone here in the At Bristol Science Centre. For more science to try at home over the holiday season, check out these videos, and for more science every week, click subscribe. Thanks for watching!